Look out! Who is that maniac? There's 50,000 bucks in prize money up for grabs. I'm your man. I think he's trying to prove he's better than Troy Malone. Hey, Ralph, I don't know what you think you're doing, but you're way out of your league. We'll see. But... Uh-oh. This is the Evergreen Forest. Quiet, peaceful, serene. That is until Burt Raccoon wakes up. <laughs> Luckily, he has good friends to help him out. Life would be simple in the forest except for... Cyril Sneer. And his life would be simple except for... The Raccoons. Blue skies, unlimited horizons. Perfect weather for the Evergreen Air Show. And Bert, Ralph, and Melissa are there to enjoy it all. Well, at least Bert and Melissa are enjoying it. Oh, boy, those were the days, right, guys? The dawn of the flying era, when the sky was the limit and planes had two wings. They still have two wings, Bert, one on each side. Oh, Ralph, where's your sense of romance? How often do you get to see old planes like these? Watch out! Clear the way! Plane coming through! Wing flaps? Check! Parachutes? Check! Rubber dinghy? Check! My, you three look dashy. I hope we look as dashing when we're crashing. Quit whining, you paranoid porkers. There's 50,000 bucks in prize money up for grabs in that pylon race. And you're going to win it. Or die trying. I think I'll dress up as a daring air race for that costume dance tonight. How about you, Ralph? I'm not going. You know the food writer's on vacation. I've got to finish that column. Ralph Raccoon, you promised you'd go. We haven't been out dancing in ages. Contact! Great, it runs! Now take off and hit that wild blue yonder! Ha <laughs> ha! That is some pilot! I guess you do know him. Oh, I can't wait to see that pylon race tomorrow. Hey, don't you wish you could fly like Troy Malone, Ralph? Soaring like an eagle, diving like a falcon. And landing like a ton of bricks. No thanks, Bert. I'm perfectly happy with both feet on the ground. So this is the nerve center of the famous Evergreen Standard. Melissa makes it sound pretty exciting, Ralph, old buddy. It, uh, has its moments. You guys have got to hear some of Troy's stories. He's been all over the world flying missions, and he speaks nine languages. Ten, really, but I don't like to brag. Yeah, I can see that. What sort of missions? Oh, search and rescue, uh, medical evacuations, that sort of thing. Is uh, this your latest story, Ralphie? A hundred and one ways to cook with turnips. Hmm, very interesting. What? Uh, no. That's the, uh, food column. I'm filling in for the regular writer. And next week, 101 ways to cure indigestion. Riveting stuff, huh? <laughs> Intriguing. Be fair now, Bert. Last week, Ralph broke a big story on the acid rain cover-up. 
<laughs> oh, yeah, I'm just kidding. Hey, Troy, have you got a place to stay yet? Well, I was going to sleep in my plane, but if you've got a better offer... Sure, you'll stay with us, right, gang? Of course. Unless you prefer to sleep in your plane. It's settled. Come on, Troy. We'll fetch your gear and get you moved in. I'll be along when I get the press fixed. Now, why didn't I think of that? Of all the rotten luck! That hot shot Troy Malone turned up! I had this hair race in the bank! We were the only entry! Face it, boss! We don't have a chance against him! He's a natural! And you are unnatural! When I'm through with you, people will believe pigs can fly. We'll start with a little G-force training. I don't want you passing out on tight turns. Enjoy! I'll be back in an hour. So there I was, shooting down the expert slope with 4,000 tons of raging avalanche roaring behind me. That's when I first saw Melissa. With seconds to spare, I swept her up in my arms and outran the avalanche. It was a bit tricky on one ski, I suppose. I'm sure it was no problem for you, Troy. Oh, it wasn't that big an avalanche. Ralph, tell Troy how we met. <laughs> it was so cute. Oh, I'm sure Troy doesn't want to hear that, Melissa. Sure I do. Come on, Ralph. I spilled a cup of coffee on her. I believe it was Mocha Java. <laughs> ah, that's our Ralphie boy. One of the great romantics. You and Bert better get going, Melissa. You don't want to be late for the dance. Are you positive you don't want to come, Ralph? Oh, I better finish up that work. You sure? In that case, uh, how about I escort you, Melissa? Well, thanks, Troy. That sounds like fun. Oh, you're gonna need a costume, Troy. Why don't I just go as a dashing aviator? I think you can pull that off, Troy. And why don't I just go as a dashing food columnist? Ah! Whoa! <laughs> oh, Bowie. Boy, listen to all those people out there having fun at the fancy dress ball. Now I know how Cinderella felt. Mm. Maybe we can sneak out and mingle. Oops! <laughs> Dressed as what? Greased pigs? Hi, guys. Having fun? <laughs> this is great! Hey, Cedric, you look terrific! This reminds me of the old days, Melissa. Boy, Ralph sure is lucky he married you. He really is a sweetheart. I just wish he were here. Sometimes I think he works much too hard. Ralph? Is that you? I thought you were gonna work all night. <laughs> Bert. <laughs> Cedric, hi. I, uh, decided to knock off early and... You know, check things out. Okay, get ready for the engine test. And let's hope it doesn't work. Contact? <laughs> oh! Shut it down! Shut it down! Thank heavens you're all right. Ralph? Whew. Good thing Troy was here. Boy, what a guy, huh, Ralph? Yeah, what a guy. Left! Bang left! Keep your nose up! Pull up for the next round! You've got all the flag instincts of a brick. That's what we've been trying to tell you, boss. The big race.
place is this afternoon, and you hopeless ham hogs are entered. And if you don't want to end up in a deli counter, you'll win. Got it? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Can you change that line to read, Daring Pilot Stops Runaway Plane? Do you mind, Troy? I can't work with someone looking over my shoulder. I just want to make sure you spell my name right, Ralphie, old buddy. I may not be much at stopping runaway airplanes, Troy, but I can spell. And he's a heck of a typist, too. Well, I guess old Ralphie boy's got things pretty well in hand here. Does anybody want to zip down to the airfield and take a spin in my plane? Wow! Oh, I thought you'd never ask. Let's go, Melissa. How about you, Ralph? Are you coming? It'll be fun. Yeah, Ralph, old pal. I'll even let you fly my plane. It'll be a nice change from piloting a desk all day. Sure. Sure, I'll come down later. And I'll bring the story down for your approval. Come on, Bert. Yeah, be right with you, Troy. Um, are you okay, Ralph? I mean, you've been acting a little funny lately. Oh, I'm fine. Well, good. But if, you know, if there's anything you want to talk about, just let me know, okay? I will. Thanks, Bert. Okay, Ralph. I'll see you later. Face it, Ralph. Some guys make the news, and some guys just write it down. We were standing on Saturday night, the boys and me in line, fighting for the chance to dance with you. I can still remember the look upon your face You were so surprised that I told you All life long I knew it was forever All life long I knew we couldn't stop All life long Well, come on in. What happened to you three? It's a sad and a painful story. Oh, yeah. We didn't even see the cement truck. No, not at all. And what do you think the chances are of being hit by a meteorite? Zero. What can I do for you? We want to place an ad for a pilot. A pilot? The race will be over before the standard comes out. Well, that's not our problem. But the boss can't say we didn't try. Look at that idiot. It's a wonder he doesn't kill himself. Did Melissa enjoy her flight? I don't know, Ralph. Ask her when she comes down. Melissa? Does it, Troy? Who do you think you are? You, you conceited, overbearing show-off? Risk your own life, not Melissa. Hey, lighten up, old buddy. And I'm not your buddy. A cement truck? And a garbage truck. Oh. A garbage truck? <laughs> How appropriate. We've still got an hour before the race. You can recover by then. Impossible! I mean, I mean, uh, I don't think so. But we did advertise for another pilot. Big deal. Who'd be crazy enough to go up in that flying death trap? 
Mr. Sneer, I understand you're looking for someone to fly your plane in the pylon race. Yeah? So? Well, I'm your man. Oh, the pain! Agony! Oh! All right, Raccoon. Here's the game plan. I want you to get out there and win. Got it? It sounds pretty straightforward, Mr. Sneer. Gee, Ralph, are you sure you're up to this? You haven't logged all that many flying hours. Maybe not, Cedric, but I've had it up to here with Troy Malone. I'm gonna give him a run for his money. It's not his money. It's my money. Now get out there and bring back that 50 grand. And don't wreck my plane. Contact!
chunk of the mess you've made out of my valuable aircraft, you furball flake. But never mind. You and I can make a fortune. We'll tour the country. You crash the planes, and I'll rake in the loot. We'll call it Steers Flying Circus. What do you say? If anyone's making a fortune, it's us. We're your loyal, personal pilots, boss. 50-50, right, boss? The Flying Porkers! How's that sound? Isn't it amazing how quickly pigs mend? <laughs> why, why, it's a miracle! Oh, Marty, listen. <laughs> Sorry. Con me, will you, you treacherous tenderloins? Come back here and meet your doom-like pig. Hey, Melissa! Doesn't the big winner get a victory kiss? He sure does, Troy. <laughs> Sometimes it seems that nothing we do turns out right. And no matter how we try, someone else always does it better. Certainly Ralph Raccoon knows that feeling. But as Ralph learned, there's one thing you can do better than anyone else. And that's be yourself. Here's looking at you, kid. <laughs> <laughs> Troy, pull up a chair and join us. Yes. Oh, no, I I just came to say goodbye. Besides, freeze a crowd. No hard feelings about the race, eh, Ralph? Of course not. Well, wherever you're off to, we wish you the best of luck, Troy. Thanks, Ralph. Melissa? Psst, uh, Jake. Uh, Ralph and Melissa's... Well... It's on me.